Two thirds of all Americans said that they believe the media is the enemy of the state. I, I truly believe that the number one thing Donald Trump did in his presidency, in, in the four years he was president, is that he broke the minds of the American people and he truly exposed the media. The media is the thing that needed to be eradicated and he did exactly that. He, he broke the media in half and he exposed the media for what it was, the complete shill for Fabian, progressive, one world government people. There's no other way to say it. That was the greatest thing that Trump did by far. And now, I mean, I, I would, I forgot to grab, now that I'm thinking of it, I forgot to grab what the stats were 10 years ago. I'd love to see the stats. I'm sure it was like 30 or 40% of the people, now two thirds. So now 66% of the people, 60, 70% of the people think that the media is the enemy of the state. That is, or the enemy of the people. That is unbelievable. That is truly unbelievable. We have never been in a, in a better time with decentralized social media, with Noster, Zion, Ghost, all these decentralized platforms built on Bitcoin. You, you had things two years ago, three years ago, people getting censored, just outright taken off, banned from platforms. The antithesis of free speech, the antithesis, antithesis of progress, the antithesis, the, doing the opposite of American values and of what any civilized person and nation should be doing. And yet here we are, because of those things, we now have these protocols that are being built that are decentralized and cannot ever be censored ever again. Gone are the days of the state being able to control things, whether it was the printing press, whether it was a state media over the last 100 years, 200 years. And now you have this thing where now the citizen journalist, people have left all these Tucker, Glenn, Glenn, Glenn Greenwald, uh, Cheryl Atkins, whatever it is. I mean, all these different people have left and they're like, you know what? I'm on Substack. You know what? I'm on Rumble. I'm on Noster. I, I'm, I'm somewhere else, you know, Twitter, which is okay. But you have these platforms now where people cannot be censored. This is going to happen in money as well. Money is really the last frontier. In money, the state is going to fight it. But you are the government. I am the government. We are the government. We are the people are voting and we are the people that can force change. If, if enough people say, hey, the dollar is worthless, which it is, and we'll lose every cent of value it has going forward, it will. Then we wake up tomorrow. We choose a different path. We say, I'm going in a different direction because we're humans. We can do that. Boom. All of a sudden, we're Bitcoin. And now we're all accruing wealth over time because there's less and less Bitcoin over time. And we're accruing purchasing power. Every single person, if you save more than you spend, unlike dollars, where it's a liability. And the more you save, the poorer you get because you're saving a liability and it's losing value because they print more and more and more of it. This is simple math. So the, the people understand what's going on. We used to have Lincoln Douglas debates for hours at a time. We're going to get back to that. I predict, again, Joe Rogan, Russell Brand. I just saw The Blaze the other day. I've been predicting this for a while, but The Blaze. Someone said, we should have, you should have a debate with the, with the candidates. Of course they should. The Blaze should be doing that. All these channels, Joe Rogan, Russell Brand. Um, I'm trying to think, Bill Maher. I mean, so many of these people now that have kind of flipped or have said, whoa, 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 what is going on? Have these massive audiences should be holding debates. Why is ABC, CBS, NBC, Fox News, CNN, why are they, why are they holding debates? No one even watches them. No one even watches them. And no one even, the people don't show up. They're trying to get rid of that. We need more debate, not less. We need more free speech, not less. Then we are going to get more and more down the rabbit hole of destruction if we continue to censor people and continue to shut their voices out. That is a path to destruction and it is, history has shown us that over and over and over again. So please share this video. This video is super important. It's a very, this is a very important stat because this is showing us the direction. And as, as someone who's a generalist overall and, and, and thinks about many different things, I, I can see the, the tide in where the current is going and it's going towards decentralization. Right? We're going from separating money from state with Bitcoin and we're going separating media from state. This is, this is the evolution of, of we had separation of church and state. Now we have separation of media, separation of money. This is coming. The government's going to fight these things, but we will win. The people always win. There's more of us than there are them. And when we realize that, when we wake up and say, we are the government, we are the people, and we decide to do this, the government works to the consent of us, things change immediately and the world becomes the whole world. It just freedom and liberty wash over the world within weeks, months, a few years, because we now have true freedom, true property rights, true liberty. This is a revolution. This is the peaceful revolution. And we do it by separating money from state and media from state, defunding them. This is coming. There's nothing they can do about it. They're going to fight it. They're going to kick and scream, but we are winning. So please share yourself. The algorithm hates truth, totally hates truth, <laughs> more than we could ever imagine. So please share it out. It's the only way to minimize collateral damage. The more people and the faster we can wake people up and, and, and educate people. This is not financial advice. It's freedom advice. Question everything with boldness, even the existence of God himself. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.